Quiet. Everyone joins. Everybody runs. They form a circle, right? Listen. It's called active listening. How many ever been in, something happens with the plane? This is what you do, and there's a little bag in you front of you. You did this, and you did that, and you did it, and you start pointing fingers at it instead of saying this. The minds. Meaning, that, am I saying something, and do you understand it? That's angry. That's frustrated. What is that? What else? Annoyed? What else? I'm frustrated. That's an emotion. Okay, you use these words to start seeing on the on, being on the same page. You're trying to bring it back onto the same page. You try to, get, which is really not a lot of time for what I'm going to do today. But um, it'll, we're, we're going to see what we can do to get through them. And one day you get news that your your doctor was driving down the streets and up. Shh, shh. Somebody you loved has been killed. So you have a. Yet in our culture, we said, no, you got to believe my way, or you're intolerant, or you're a racist. Does that mean you know the difference? I mean, that's the conflict. The conflict is whether I'm going to go to school or not. That's a conflict. Do I want to get up? What, what's, your, what's your moment? What's your emotions at, at some moment? I'll try to get through as quickly as we can. And so what I want to do this morning is we're going to pass out some sheets real quick. It affected your emotion when you think about what he did for you. Our, 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 it's an emotion. There are times that we have justified anger. There are times that we have anger that we have a reason to be angry. Do, what do you guys do? Don't let you care. Okay. And so we have to be really, really careful about that. And there was a, a time they don't talk to each other, right? And there's a conflict. We were all sitting there, all on kind of number in either zero, one, two, three, or four on how you feel and, and begin to write it and then feel, answer these questions from zero to four. What best describes you, and it's up there right here, okay? Answer the, don't lie to yourself. When they raise their hand, can you pass this to them? Raise your hand if you're new. We need a, a, a intake information. Why do I let him have a voice? I'll tell you why. Because I'm teaching him how to speak up when he needs to speak up. Our gym, the boxing, martial arts, boxing. Team. I'm not going to have any information. If you're new, keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. If you're new, any school you're in. The name of the school you're in. Come on listening to each other so we can come to some reconciliation. What? Now let's catch the second person. If you're dealing with the issue of how do we resolve conflict because our emotions could get the best of us. Here, so you say it's done, it's forgotten. That's reconciliation. That's me a conflict affirmation, a kind word turns away wrath. All these different things, guys, will have you back the head. But the you talked about, brother, you talked about, so sometimes conflict can be good. It can be good. And what we're trying to do here is give you some tools to make a difference, to change the things in your life that maybe you learn the correct way. And so I want to give you a couple statistics. It's not about that, bro. But some kids say that's okay. Let me ask you this. Guys, is it okay? So there's 30 people here. Three girls out of 30 will experience. Here, 0 to 45, raise your hand. Um, listen, listen. So I'm going to give you that do not quickly disappear. You'll probably harbor negative feelings long after the initial have. There might be something that happens on the street to somebody you don't know, but most people that get in that, you're not going to work through it. How many people say they love their mothers? situation, and you said something you wish you would never say. Everybody stay together. Everybody stay together. Check out. No. Grab your shots.